What's going on sneaker talk family welcome back to another vlog on the channel and before we dive into today's best sneakers sitting at the mall for July vlog I want to let you guys know we are in fact uploading daily this July and we're gonna be uploading 93 videos this month across three channels my main channel you're watching right now my second sneaker channel sneaker talk 365 and my trading card channel sneaker talk TCG which mainly focuses on Pokemon so if you guys want to join me on this comeback on this grind this absolute grind make sure you guys hit that red button down below subscribe and join me on this fun adventure we're about to have today has been a really productive day I uh, didn't get any sleep but I did go for a morning run had a cold shower screamed to the top of my lungs while in the shower and my sister was in a zoom call the whole time I was screaming I had no idea Bruh. I probably sounded like uh, like one of those screaming goats yeah white oreo fours if you guys want to see a full impression of that sneaker like a full first impression video make sure you guys check out the previous video and i'm also uploading a review for this shoe very soon if not it's going to be up already on the channel but yeah in the previous vlog we picked up two pairs of retro jordans while at the mall and we didn't get to hit up all the stores because the mall is closed early at 7 p.m which is very unfortunate so uh check out the previous vlog to see what two retro jordans we picked up you won't believe what we found and in today's vlog i'm going to be showcasing to you guys like the best sneakers you can find at the mall on a budget that's on a tighter budget you know if you're saving some money try not to drip too hard but still be drippy and uh, i'll also show you guys the new sneaker consignment store that just opened up at, at fairview mall a completely new store they actually have two other locations throughout toronto and then we're also going to go to uh, champ sports and foot action and maybe foot locker if they let me film in there but i'm not usually allowed to film in that foot locker that's my ex workplace i used to work at that foot locker so kind of why i can't film there um, with that said, let's uh, let's get a haircut. We're also getting a haircut today, so I'll catch you guys at the mall with a freshly cut head. That sounded really weird. Oh no no no! Ambulance and police are here. What's going down? Dude, every store in the mall has like a huge lineup to get in. Foot Locker has at least a 40 minute lineup down there. Bruh. The Lego store's got a lineup. The mall is packed, man. There's so many people at the mall today. It's a beautiful, beautiful Friday afternoon. I think like every store has a max capacity of either 15 or 25%. So that explains like the long, long lineup. So if your store is really big, you can let more people in, but there's not too many large stores in here. So my main barber actually has moved to Vaughn and uh, that's pretty far. So right now I'm like desperate, really desperate for a haircut. So we're here at the mall with my old barber, one of my old barbers here. I know getting a haircut at the mall isn't usually the best idea. Typically you want to go to an actual barber shop, but you know what? I'll take what I can get. And hopefully by the time we're done my haircut, the lineup for all the stores aren't too, too long. But uh, yeah, let's have my haircut right now and I'll be right back freshly cut. Yo, I feel so good after that haircut. Oh, I feel like myself again. And uh, now we have time to go shopping in the mall. We have about one hour to shop here. So let's hit up some stores. All right, so the very first store that we are hitting up in today's vlog is the Nike store. The lineup is pretty small too. Here we are now after 10 minutes inside of the Nike store in Fairview Mall. And I love this location because they're cool with me vlogging, which means I get to spend more time in the store showing you guys the details of the shoes and really taking my time with it. So starting off with the lifestyle stuff, we have a lot of Air Maxes. We got the Vapor Max Plus in the triple black and triple white colorways available, along with the Air Max 97s. The Air Max 2090s were actually 40% off in two different colorways. And of course, the Air Max 270, one of their best selling silhouettes. Now on to a sneak that I highly recommend you guys look into for this summer it is the Nike Blazer 77 Vintage. They have so many good different colorways available. A lot of them have a white base with a hit of accent color on the swoosh, for example. This pair was the only black pair in the store. And then they had this really cool pair that can actually change the color of the swoosh depending on how you have the material facing the direction of, you know, whatever way you're going. Next up, in terms of low tops, we got the Air Force One Low. And I gotta say, Air Force One Lows make my soul happy and they make a lot of people happy because they're one of the most popular sneakers of all time. So they have a lot of like white-based colorways. 
here's a look at a gray pair that they had. And then here's a really cool olive pair, which I would probably recommend more for like the fall months, but it's still a really good colorway, especially for daily use. Now onto some of the white colorways, they have a lot of different versions available. So depending on your favorite color and depending on what kind of materials you want in the shoe, you have a lot of variety to pick from. This one was really unique and cool looking, kind of remind me of like a fish. And then onto this blue pair, it kind of reminded me of like a light wash denim, but it doesn't actually have denim material. It's just the colorway that looks really reminiscent of it. And then we have this cool white and yellow pair with yellow bottoms and extra swooshes on the side. I thought we were done, you know, past that era of all the extra branding, but hey, I guess Nike's still doing it a little bit. Now onto some pink Air Force One lows. We got these cool ones that have like a rose on the midsole. And then these ones just came out not too long ago. The King Air Force One low from my kings out there. Next up, we got a look at the women's section from my ladies out there. 10% of my audience, shout out to y'all. Uh, so here's just a quick look. Maybe you're shopping for your girlfriend too. Bada bing, bada boom. I got you covered, fam. I got you covered. They had a pretty good selection, I gotta say. They had these Air Jordan 1 mids, but the one shoe that really caught my eye in the women's section was this Jordan 6. It has like the satin material all over, even on the midsole, which is really cool. This really cool pattern too. Very unique. Next up, we got the Jordan section. I know you guys are hyped for this, so let's go. We got a bunch of Jordan 1 lows, a bunch of Jordan 1 mids, some Jordan 1 zooms. Uh, we got the Air Force 1 lows sneaking their way in. And then we got the Carmine 6s. Oh my gosh, I love the Carmine 6s. How are these still sitting, dude? These are at every store in this mall too. Then we have the Jordan 7s right here as well with the Fleur de Lis on the back right there. And, uh, and then we have some Jordan 13s, some Jordan 3 cool grays. I don't know why these are sitting. Like this is such an underrated shoe. Anyways, onto some Jordan 1 high zooms. We got a couple colors ways we got the tropical twist air jordan one low which is a really really summer summery sneaker uh, i think i bought the mid top so that's coming soon we got the 12s and then these right here the air jordan one ko these caught me by left field i was so surprised to see these man um this was like a release from earlier this spring so i was like so so excited to see these and so i had to ask yo uh my friend over here do you have a size size 10 Mon ami, and they were like, yeah, actually that display one is the very last pair we have in the store. So I was like, bet it's done. It's a wrap, seal the deal. Let's make um, let's let's make some money at the cash register, not, not make love. So yeah, here's just another look at the other uh, Jordan sections here. And then in, uh, in the lineup, dude, in the lineup, I waited 30 minutes. There was two people in front of me. Why was I waiting 30 minutes? That is ridiculous. Anyways, at Champ Sports, they still had these sixes sitting. Beautiful, beautiful pair. And I copped these in my previous vlog. Um, um, they're available only at Champs. So we just finished up at Nike and uh, I was really disappointed with how slow it took to shop there. It took 10 minutes to get into the store, but then it took another 30 minutes just to wait in line with two people in front of me Bruh. to buy the one pair of shoes. On the bright side, we did pick up a fire pair I was not anticipating to find at the mall. We ended up getting the very last pair of Air Jordan 1 or AJKO Jordan 1s right here. These are sick. I used to have a pair of these way back in, I think in 2014 and I think retail was the same price, 180 CAD plus tax or 160 CAD. Now retail is 180 plus tax. These are clean though. You got the red canvas, the white canvas, hits of black leather, and then you got the white heel, which is a part that a lot of people really don't like. You also got that sort of aged sail midsole, which looks really, really clean, but this is a fresh, fresh pair. Ooh, these also come with extra set of uh, red laces, but unfortunately no white laces are included. That's very surprising. I think we're gonna just do this video, like part two of it, I guess, in an upcoming vlog. So we're gonna showcase you guys the brand new sneaker store that has a lot of heat inside of it. Stay tuned for that video, but we're gonna head home right now and I'll catch you guys in the next video. If you made it to the end, comment down below, Jordan One Gang, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.